And welcome back, guys, to the next episode of my Football Manager 2020 Career Mode. Things have taken a tremendous turn for us here in the League 2. Uh, currently sitting third place, which uh, is new for us. Uh, 12 wins, 3 draws, 6 losses, 39 points overall. One behind Crawley Town and 6 behind Grimsby Town. Uh, just a quick look through. So, in the competition, Akko, eight goals right there. Uh, he's playing tremendous. Nathan Smith, highest rating. Danny Hilton, four assists uh, as our stri as one of our strikers there. So the FA Cup, we did not do well at all. We were knocked out in the first round by Ipswich Town. Aaron Lewis and Good uh, Goodship had a goal. Aaron Lewis, highest, and Hilton and Lewis an assist. Carabao Cup, we were knocked out in the fourth round by Swansea City. Uh, Akko had five goals in that competition, 8.3 rating. And the Leasing.com Trophy, we were knocked out in the northern section. Uh, Akko with two goals in that one. So that didn't turn out quite as planned. But the last match we played uh, on camera last episode, we lost 3-0 to Plymouth. But since then, we played Blackpool in the northern uh, section group A and you can see on early Blackpool take the lead 1-0 before halftime from Madine and then Aaron Lewis sends in the cross and Sharing scores his goal and then we're on the attack again Akko gets in beats the defender scores there and then Torton with the pass and Blackpool uh, get another goal as well. It ends 2-2 and then we go to penalties Where Medine misses his Hilton knocks it in They knock it in Akko gets his Not all is saved by Jamie Cumming Warall knocks his in Nicelle and then we take the win uh, for penalties and then we ha head to Lamex Stadium to take on Stevenage. Port Vale on the attack here. Hilton to Ago, beautiful pass. Beats the keeper, and we take the advantage 1-0. And then Warall on a free, free kick makes it 2-0, and we get the three points in that one. And then we go back home to Vale Park to take on Colchester. Early on, they're on the attack in the rain. Great pass to Sims, who beats coming, and they take the 1-0 lead. And then it was all Port Vale after that. Nathan Smith with the header. Conlin into Calican, and then Wagstaff into Agho to make it 3-1 to take the win there. And another three points for us. Then we stay at home and take on Bromley. Aaron Lewis starts it off with a penalty 10 minutes in. Then Aaron Lewis with the pass. A uh, bunch of knock around there. We get a second goal. And then Ajaye makes it 2-1. And then Lewis, off the block from the wall, gets the third goal of the game. And we take that one home 3-1. Next match is at the Alexandra Stadium against Crew. Early on, Warall. Gets the pass, the shot, makes it 1-0, 17 minutes in. And then the crew get two goals uncontested. And they get home, take home the 2-1 win as we drop points here to crew. Then it's the EFL Cup fourth round match against Swansea City. Early on, Wagstaff to Gibbons, back to Wagstaff. Into Ako, shoots and scores, nine minutes in, makes it 1-0 Port Vale. And then Swansea City come back with two goals of their own to take the 2-1 lead and uh, the win and eliminate us from the FA Cup. And then we play Leeds United under 23s in this uh, group stage match of the Leasing.com trophy. So early on, good ship, great pass to Hilton, knocks it in, makes it 1-0, just 30 seconds in. And we're all with the the pass into Hurst, who scores. And then they answer, make it 2-1. And then O'Brien to Warall. 
pass inside the good ship who heads it in 62 minutes in. then at 85 minutes in McCarron great pass to Traore and Leeds United knock it in and we take them down 3-2 to grab points in the tournament then we play uh, we go to Banks Stadium to take on Sol Solihull Moors we score our one and only goal 27 minutes in Hilton to good ship knocks it in and we win that one one nil then it's back home at Vale Park we take on Eastley Lewis crosses it into Chimenez and then Lewis gets the penalty to make it 2-0 and we grab three points there and then the last one off camera was Accrington Stanley uh, at home we play that one to a nil nil draw and we uh, don't pick up any point well we pick up one point there so next we're gonna play Crawley Town on camera and then maybe Bradford City too uh, depending on the time constraints so let's jump on in and take on Crawley Town and here's our little preview match preview screen so they are second we are third both of us have strong form lately uh, so let's go on and get this match won so today we're going with Agho and Hilton up top they do have that good uh, partnership up top uh, and then Tella Conlon Kala <laughs> Kalak Chan who have also have a good relationship and then Warall, Gibbon, Smith, Morrison, Lewis in the back and coming in uh, the goal. So let's go out there. Let's see. Give, <laughs> give the fans their money's worth and that, uh, that stressed them out. Come on, guy. And here we go gonna stick with our same tactics that have been paying off for us lately uh, here we go Lewis the cross oh just just missed that one from Akko oh that's disappointing I would have loved to have gone up 1-0 this early Gibbons with the throw in Kalachan Conlon don't lose possession gives it up and they are on the attack now out to George crosses it in cleared out can come and grab it yes oh I see it oh he should have made that pass early Colin the war roll out wide the cross comes in cleared out by Crawley Town Hilton to Akko oh. <laughs> I thought Akko was gonna get that goal there and 20 minutes in it is still nil nil come on guys Conlon to Lewis cross in Hilton and over the crossbar we're having a lot of highlights so it's only a matter of time before we get one in the net just taking so long here Hilton to Warall header and Agho gets his 16th goal of the season assisted by David Warall get in there nice cross Agho with the header he is on fire uh, so far this season and uh, probably the main reason we are currently in third place where we are. I'm not going to do any talking to the guys. They're motivated and composed. We're going to leave them alone until halftime. And there's the whistle. So we're going to go out there. Let's see. Passionately say uh, I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. So we start the second half. If I get that second goal, then we'll switch to more of a defensive uh, mentality. But right now, one ball is uh, one ball. One goal is not enough. 60 minutes in, uh, none of our guys are too too tired. Lewis with the cross. Arco shoots and saved by Smith. Can we get that second goal here to put this one away? This would be a huge victory for us this late in the season and against a top team. So about 80 minutes, I'm going to make a sub. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Tell us nervous. Let's see who, if, if we even should make a, uh, you know what? We're going to leave the guys alone. Lewis, 
Lewis grabs it again. Another cross inside. Agho header over the crossbar. Gibbons with the throw to Hilton. Wall. Gibbons just walks in the box. And that was. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Shot wide. Unless we're going to switch more defensive and try to wrap this one up, even if it's 1 0. Hilton to Calican. Back to Hilton to Warall. Gibbons the cross and another goal for Akho. Assist from James Gibbons. Akho's 17th goal of the year. He's got to be leading uh, League Two. Oh, or League One. I forget which one. <laughs> and another attempt in the last few minutes of this one. Don't make a mistake here. Let's get the clean sheet and walk away with these points. Crawley Town. Oh, cleared out by. Oh, Akko gets in the box, shoots, and just wide. He just missed his uh, hat trick. And here we go. Last few minutes. Tella to Lewis. Almost to Akko. Lewis, <laughs> they try to get him his hat trick. They keep knocking that ball deep to him. And a throw in coming. Let's finish this one up, dudes. Gibbons, and that's it. Final whistle. 2 0. Ako gets the brace. Let's see. A shutout by Jamie Cumming ensured that the goalkeeper has now played 366 consecutive minutes without conceding. 225th league appearance for Port Vale and 25th career league appearance. We gotta passionately tell the boys very happy and we'll move on. So we'll play one more. Uh, Ako gets player of the match again. He just continues to dominate. Um, so five unbeaten now. 2-0, 0-0, 2-0, 1-0, 1-0. So we're going to head on and we will take on Bradford uh, next, who are currently sitting 21st. And look at this. We're, after getting fired twice, we're now sitting at A+. Plus. So maybe, maybe this is where we belong here. 17 goals, so I'll go six assists with Hilton, four player of the match. Uh, so we're going to head on over and we're going to play this next match. So as we are training through the week, we get this horrible news here. Our star goalkeeper, Jamie Cumming, is out five weeks to two months with an abdominal strain. Uh, even worse is that he's been recalled from his loan. He made 27 appearances for us and was amazing. Uh, I did make a, uh, an inquiry to um, Chelsea to see if we can get him back uh, in a transfer because I'd love to have him back and then the Skybet League 2 team of the week we have Aaron Lewis Gibbons and Agho have made the team so that's nice uh, to have three guys on the team of the week team playing well good job guys so we currently sit in third one point behind Crawley Town uh, and six behind Grimsby Town right now. So we heard back from uh, Chelsea and they have sold us Jamie Cumming for $275,000. Uh, so our general manager handles all the contract negotiations. So he's going to talk with him and hopefully that goes over smoothly and we get him. Uh, but that would get him, bring him here for uh, 18 months roughly. Uh, yeah, so huge. And then Tella is hurt. He goes down out for two to four months. And I guess that triggered him being recalled from his uh, loan spell with us. He didn't do all that great. Uh, he played for Southampton. Uh, his stats aren't that great. So we're just going to let him go and not worry about that at this time. So we see here that Joey O'Brien has announced his decision to retire. Uh, he breaks failed to break into the first team of late and feels that it's time to call it a day so June 29th 2022 O'Brien is gonna hang him up and then some horrible horrible bad news 
Cumming has rejected our offer. Salary and appearance fee were not acceptable. And he will not be coming back to Port Vale this year. So disappointing. So now we probably have a gaping hole uh, at goalkeeper. Let's see, Madison. Uh, aerial reach is good. Kicking, punching, reflexes. So not horrible, but man, coming was so much better. So we'll give him a chance and we'll see if we need to add somebody uh, during the transfer window. So here's our starting 11 for this one. Agu and Hilton up top. Hurst, Conlon, Calican, Warall, Lewis, Smith, Morrison, Gibbons, and Madison in goal. So let's tell them to pick up where they left off. Let's see. Kind of motivates them. Tell the guys we have faith in them. And let's get this one kicked off. We should win this one pretty easy. But I've learned after being sacked two times in two years, you never take anything for granted. Uh, so we got to keep focused, keep motivated, keep calm, and get this one done. So far, we haven't let up. Oh, that was our first shot there. Uh, none on target so far. And let's get something going. It's been, it's been no highlight at all. Will we go the first half without any highlights? And we will. So it stays nil-nil. Encourage the guys a little bit and get out there. And let's put this one away. We may have to change to attacking uh, to really put the pressure on these guys. And here we go. Gibbons with the throw in to Warroll. And get grab possession and we are in trouble here. Oh man. Oh. I saw that one playing out. And we are down 1-0 against the team in 21st place on the table. And Madison just couldn't get to it. Not his fault. One-on-one. -on -one. That was a tough one there. Lewis with the cross, header, and it's off target. Oh, I thought that was our chance to equalize there. We're going to switch up to attacking style. And here we go. Lewis, we lose possession. Hurst just gives up possession. Oh, nice save by Madison. But we give the ball right back up to Bradford. And they are on the attack. We need to grab possession here. Yeah, all right, so we gotta we gotta sub some guys off here today. Lewis is frustrated. We're gonna get him out of there, and we're gonna get Chimenez in for Hilton. Let's make something happen, guy. We cannot get one nilled by Bradford City. Not a good look. Terrible pass by Campbell. Novak. And we foul him, and the red card comes out, and Hilton is sent off. We are just falling apart here. Header off the bar. And that would have really been it for us. Okay, Hurst, make something happen here. Oh, nice clearance. We'll have a throw in here. We got to make something of this, and we lose possession. The guys are killing me right now. Cross comes in, and I guess he was fouled. The man more, guys. Campbell Gordon shoots over the crossbar. We have about three minutes to go here. And down we go. 1-0 to Bradford City. What a ridiculous loss that was today. Uh, not happy. No, no, no. You were not good enough today. That's ridiculous to lose those guys. So, Calican is now suspended. We're going to appeal it, but we never win. Uh, let's see. Aaron Lewis has told now head coach, how head coach uh, William Doolittle lost his temper. Uh, had not been happy with the team, of course. 
all that good work and now down we go let's see where we stay in the competition still third still one point behind Crawley Town nine points behind Grimsby and one up on Plymouth so we're gonna leave this episode here please drop a like please get the views up everybody watch tell your friends everybody let's get this video to like 20 likes if we could do that that'd be amazing uh, if you have any suggestions please comment below and let me know i love to hear your ideas so until next episode take care <laughs>